Hey guys, Terry here. I wanted to go over, um, to make a video about what's in my tool bag. And I think a tool bag is a lot like your purse. The bigger the tool bag, the more uh, <laughs> junk you collect inside it. So um, I wanted to show that I'm using this small little bag. I used to have a big tote. Um, it was probably a, I don't know, 14 or 15 inches long and um, while it was handy I just found that I was carrying too much stuff so I've whittled it down to this nice small one and I think this has the essentials in it um, so um, I thought I would just go through you know what's inside this thing um, and I think it's important too from time to time to go through it like I see some stuff in here that I don't even know what it is I think I got these at a crop and they kind of got stuck in here so I think it's a good idea from time to time to pull out stuff and see if it's um, still relevant to what you're using so I think the um, the majority of things in here that are super super important is I've got my scissors I've got um, three different size hole punches which might seem excessive but I've got a regular size hole punch. I might be able to leave that in my desk, um, but if I no sooner do that, then I'll decide that I need it. So I've got kind of a um, the large and the medium and the small one, the really itty bitty small one. I used to use these for those small brads. So um, I find those really handy. They fit in the side here, so um, I do take them along with me. Uh, Band-Aids are a popular thing. I think I won this at a Creative Memories crop years ago. Um, it's a good reminder to have some Band-Aids with me because myself or someone always um, has a need for Band-Aids. <laughs> so that's a handy thing. Um, this I keep along with this other hole punch. This is what um, takes off the either the end of uh, buttons if you want to glue the button down onto the page and it's got one of those little loops on the back of the button or this also cuts apart the dies um, if you buy um, dies and they come in a set and they're all connected you can use this to um, like a wire cutter to um, crimp that off um, I have a pencil sharpener, a nice little small one. This one's from Spectrum Noir. It must have come with some pencils that I bought, so that's handy. Um, a black Sharpie. Uh, this is handy for when I'm uh, maybe cutting out something, uh, cutting a shape out, and then I want to edge around the outside of it with black. Um, it's really handy to go around it with a black Sharpie. Or you need to label something, so that's a, that's a must. Um, I don't know if you've seen these dental floss um, little guys. This is handy for when you want to thread um, something through a small hole. It's got an end on it here that lets you put this through the hole and then you could string either a piece of string or thread or ribbon and pull it through that hole. Um, I just keep the whole container um, I can share them that way or it, you could see it's it would be hard to just store one of these in your bag like what how would you keep hold of it um, I lose these all the time so it's just handy to have a nice little multi-pack uh, tweezers these are handy a ruler I got this ruler years ago and it's just so stinking convenient to be either what I when I'm journaling I can keep a straight line or if I need to measure something quickly um, it's just a handy size ruler to have. Um, a journaling pen. I have this pack here. This was from Creative Memories. Oh, close to my heart. This was nice because it had all the different sizes. Um, lately I've been using these Sharpies. It's a Sharpie pen and it's just got a nice point on it. It's probably close to a, um, I don't know if it says a size on it. I think it's like a point eight. It's the little bit wider one. I tend to not use these smaller ones, but this was a nice pack. Maybe I can take this out now that I'm using these. Um, water brushes, these are handy. Um, use these for watercolor pencils, or um, you can pick up ink out of the top of your ink pad. Um, 
and use those for card making. Um, paintbrush. Don't know that I need the paintbrush when I've got this, but this brush is nice when I'm making cards and I'm using embossing powder and I need to whisk away some of the embossing powder. I like having that dry brush. Um, this is an oldie but a goodie tool. This is a um, dry embossing. Um, it's handy for, you could have a piece of paper and go like this onto a mouse pad and it will curl up the paper. Um, it's also a way to um, put the embossing folder or the um, fold into your card stock when you're making a card and you want to crease it. You could run this along a straight edge or you can use this in your trimmer and make that line and then fold your cardstock. Again, something I less handy, but maybe some of these things can come out, right? Um, this one picks up little um, sequins. It's a little bit sticky on the end. It's got these covers on it, so that's a handy tool. Fingernail file for rough. Um, um, I can remember making books and I would glue on the paper and then use this around the edge to um, get that paper trimmed around the edges. Um, I have a whole pack of them here, so those are handy. Uh, another black marker. Um, a pencil comes in handy. A lot of times you need to mark something on your paper and you want to be able to erase it. Pencil's handy. These are something I bought and just have not gotten used to it. Somewhere here is the blade. Here he is. So this is so that you can um, trim. So it's got a little lip on it. And you put this on here. And to set, depending on how wide you want to trim the uh, mat that you're putting behind something. You use this blade. This is a nice blade because it retracts. And you cut with that. And it's got all different sizes. Um, there's two sets here. You can see I haven't played with it enough to know what the sizes are. But it goes an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, five eighths, three eighths, and then sixteenths over here. So who makes this? This is uh, Perfect Layers. Mini perfect layers. So it is a handy way. You need a cutting mat um, and then cut along there. So those are handy. And they're nice and small and they do fit in the bag. So like those. And I do like that this um, pen retracts. This one here is for erasing glue, glue eraser. Piece of sandpaper. Again, handy. Works a lot like the fingernail file. Um, this tool here is good for um, if you have to unglue something, lift up under the photo and remove the ink. Um, this, this tool is really handy for um, all kinds of stuff. I also use this if I have letters and I want to put the word on here and then lay it on the page and kind of see where I'm going to put my title. This is a Creative Memories uh, Red Eye. If you have red eyes on the photos, you use this marker on the eyes, and that will make that red go away. I had this for years, and it keeps working. Um, this was a handy little tool. I used this on my Cricut mat, um, also to flatten things out. Um, again, found it at a garage sale. It's such a good size because it's nice and small. This is something handy. I got this taking a card class. And the instructor cut these up um, from a big mat. And again, it's another hole punch. So there's so many times that it's just handy to uh, poke a hole in something. And you can use it on this mat. So it's so versatile. This is also what I can use with that stylus. Or I've got this other big stylus. On this foam mat, you can put your, your little um, flower leaf and then run it with this. And then it makes it curl up. Um, so that's a handy, handy tool. And this just comes with a little push pin. And how simple is that? So it's just a nice way to punch a hole in something. My Cricut spatula. 
this is a, another pokey tool. I don't know that I need these since I've got my push pin here, but these were both used for poking a hole in something. This one's not supposed to be crooked. I don't know. It came that way. And then I also have my needles in here for when I'm um, threading around something if I've poked holes in it. So I might get rid of that one. I don't need the broken one anymore. This is nice to keep the needle in. Otherwise, again, how would you store it so you don't uh, hurt yourself with it? Uh, bone folder, handy for folding paper and making a nice crease. Pens, lots of pens. Um, these are handy. I always had trouble with white gel pens. So this is something I got at the art store. And it's just um, an acrylic paint that's in a pen. And you shake it to get the color mixed up back again. And then it has a nice tip on it to, um, to write with. So it's just a nice way to have a white, a crisp white uh, thing. And I just, I keep it with me. I could keep it with my markers. Um, this is a crimper that I got years ago. Um, it's nice. You put your paper in. It's such a good size. Years ago I had a bigger one, and I just love how small this is. Put a piece of paper there and crimp it. Makes a nice little um, texture or like a strip of paper across a layout or a card. Um, so I do like this. Um, it fits in the tool bag, so I carry it with me. Um, thumb drive. I use this sometimes we're at a crop somewhere and you want to copy some pictures off of somebody's computer or something. So just another nice little contraption to have with you. Eraser. Another um, tool kind of like this one. Um, use it for rub-ons or other things that you want to um, use to pick up. So. Those are both handy. Don't know that I need both of them. I think that's it. I have um, blades in here for my trimmer. This box has a nice little drawer on it. So I have um, cutters in here. I've got the Creative Memory blades and staples and extra blades for my um, X Acto knife. Small screwdriver. Another reason why it's good to clean things out, because you forget what's in here. So that's what's in my tool bag. Um, the other thing that I'll just mention is um, I like these Creative Memory bags. So when I do go on a crop, it's nice to have these bags for, um, I tend to put my markers in them. And then I also put all my other, um, the tool bag had all my tools, but then I also need to take a bag where I've got all my adhesives. So I use the um, Tombow tape runners. Scotch tape is always handy to have. You can use it to tape ribbon, use it to tape things to your Cricut mat. Um, stapler, I got a little tiny stapler so it doesn't take up a lot of room. Liquid glue, Stampin' Dimensionals, and then refills for the um, Tombow tape runner. So that's kind of the tools that I take with me all the time. And then, of course, depending on what project you're going to use, um, it's handy to have those things. So, hope that helps. Hope it gives you some ideas. Um, in the comments, if you could put what other tools you carry with you that um, are handy to have. Um, that'll help other folks know what to, um, to pack when they go on a crop. Thanks, guys.